Alright, here we go. This is a custom 2v2 on duel between the Carbon team in the upper left. It is Hawk 485 in the Police Striker. Or is it the APB Striker? That is the APB Striker and Uncle Grimly in the Chrome Saucer. And their opponents, the red team in the bottom right, it is Happy Death in the Nexus Paladin and Pro 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 also in the Chrome Saucer. Uh, this was a custom match. Happy Death and Pro 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 Pro, uh, longtime teammates, also known as Team For the Win. Uh, so uh, I would assume that Uncle Grimly and Hawk will have a handful in front of them to deal with. Happy Death still trying to sort out his loadout. But you are going to see very, very standard openings, I would assume, especially on duel. And it does look like both teams are going to go straight for the corner, which is pretty normal. And Happy Death going straight for attack aura, so buffing both him and his teammate, doing a little bit more damage. And they're going to be pretty even going into the uh, the close grab and the forward grab. Uncle Grimly actually going straight for the forward. Going to be doing damage to... I don't know if this is in range of this close outpost, but the the red team is doing the same thing. It, it seems the meta has been clearly established on duel. And uh, yeah, both teams going to go for both posts in very, very similar ways. Actually, two tanks over here by the um, by the uh, red team, whereas the carbon team only had the... Oh no, does have two as well, and uh, two over here. So they're going to be extremely even going into the mid fight. The big difference, I guess, here is it's going to be Paladin on one team, Striker on the other. Both teams have a Saucer, so um, both teams will be in danger of getting their units abducted. Um, saucer is very strong recently due to its uh, Blink Micro. Ability and carry capacities have been uh, pretty much normalized uh, since, ever since a couple months ago. So that's been a very, uh, you know, highly impactful. Um, Happy Death buffing all of these units with his attack aura. Will he be able to get away here? Does drop to Q heal, so he'll easily be able to get back to his outpost before he gets finished off. But Pro actually also in danger, but does the exact same thing. Dropping to heal and actually Happy Death. Okay, full on energy, so he'll be able to survive that uh, Q healing on the ground there. So, uh, very even mid-fight, it looks like. All the neutrals have been cleared off, and both teams have a very even unit spread. Um, Hawk and Uncle Grimly getting a little bit aggressive here on the top side. Uh, we are about 30 seconds away from a box, box spawning uh, artillery going up by the, by the Carbon team. Oh, and a, a quick unit save. One of these units did die, but uh, Pro 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 does save the Flacker. Red team reallocating their units over here. Quite an aggressive, ferocious mid-fight right now. Bear traps are even down for the red team, it looks like. Um, I think those um, aura marks appear for the uh, the enemy. I, I think. I don't know if that's true. I remember that being a bug with Neo Cloak when they were being... Um when they're being uh, uh, buffed by by Paladin, they they uh, you know you can see the aura even if they're cloaked. So uh, yeah, I think I don't know if that's been fixed or not. So someone in the comments, let me know if that bug still actually exists. A couple of butchers set up for the red team, but caught by Uncle Grimly. So Happy Death is forced to pick them up before the mech is able to uh, finish them off. Forced out of the way, out of the area by the red team. Uh, oh, okay, I guess both boxes were picked up because we are way past that, but we have a couple of hidden Dillo pushes. Uh, well, a couple of hidden Dillos being sent out, I guess. You, I don't think you can really call that quantity a push, but it will cause some problems for the red team if they don't deal with it pretty quick. And Happy Death going to do just that. Uh, putting a ratchet down for distraction fire, I guess. That's the only thing he did have in his queue. A couple of infantry getting dropped by the Carbon team, but Happy Death already here to react and Pro coming back with troops of his own. So the red team will not really have much trouble defending this unless Hawk has brought back some amazing units. No, the red team holding for now, dropping unit after unit, and actually Necro's going down by Pro 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 Pro. So Hawk getting finished off in the retreat, and Uncle Grimly barely, well, not barely, but getting back alive at the cost of uh, a lot of units being lost by the uh, by the Carbon team. So right now it's 46 to 55. The red team is ahead, not by a lot, but by a relevant amount. Um, again, a couple of those are in bear traps. Where are the heavy mines on the field? Actually, none. So no team right now is worried about heavy mines. I guess they have uh, confidence that they've scouted enough to not really be too worried about side pushes or quick light unit rushes. It does look like Uncle Grimly again going to go for a cheese, but caught extremely early in the act by Happy Death. So going to convert those units into fort, fort damage instead. Uh, going to be you, trying to take advantage of the mech absence here. Pro left the fight very briefly to address that um, potential cheese, and Uncle Grimly able to snipe, I think, a Longhorn or a Gemini or something like that. But uh, let's see, one, two artillery pieces firing in for the red team, one, I think two artillery, oh no, three actually are set up, but two are firing into here and one are over here for the carbon team. 
And right now, what is this? Gosh, happy to have dealing with a couple more Dillo drops. That's just a lot more lost credits for the Carbon team. Uh, so I would put the red team very clearly ahead right now. They are upkeep capped at 66. Uncle Grimly putting a couple of uh, hidden tanks over here. Uh, gonna be addressed very... Uh, very, very uh, swiftly by Happy Death right now. Now Uncle Grimly forced to pull those Longhorn out of the area. Both teams are actually really even. It's just the unit count is going to be uh, slightly in favor of the red team. Uh, 59 to 64, but 33 units to 43. Uh, a very good variety of units for both teams. Uh, Buster is even out for the red team. Happy Death and Pro teaming up over here. Happy Death kind of trying to take the lead, but Pro doing a lot of damage with his uh, Death Ray. Getting finished off on the ground. Was it worth it? I'm not sure. It does look like they only killed about one or well, maybe two or three units at the most. And Happy Death here alone defending on his own right now against two very high tier players and Uncle Grimly and Hawk. Honeypot going down for Hawk at the front. Going to be able to heal that Buster up there at the front. Uh, what are these players doing? Like... They're, they're, all of their units are concentrated right here in the mid-fight. There are pretty much nothing else except for this little bit over here by uh, by the red team. Or for the red team, those are just Necros. Happy Death, real low on health. But Q Heal saves the day once again. So, more units going down for the Carbon team. And Hawk going to come over here with a uh, little bit of a ninja Dillo attack. But again, getting caught by Pro 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 Pro. No chance to sneak by. The map is just too narrow. And, uh, okay, I was going to say possibly has Radar Guardians on him. But no, actually, Hawk is the one with Radar Guardians. Oh, man, really, really close to dying. But Pro not able to blink into him quick enough. And, um, oh, actually, we do have a brute neutralization by the Carbon team. So this will go under Carbon's control. And this upkeep caps Red, uh, yeah, Red team, even though they were already upkeep capped, putting down some, uh, some Whoppers already. Will the Red team be able to get this neutralization? Those brute drops were devastating by Uncle Grimly. I was very distracted by Hawk narrowly escaping death right there. But the Red team is able to neutralize that outpost. And Uncle Grimly only with a couple of gangsters over here uh, that was able to bring out a Q, I think. So level 666 and 6 extra devil here in this current uh, you know, timestamp of the game. But the red team uh, got their outpost neutralized on the right by those gangsters. But uh, yeah, Uncle Grimly going to be trying to hop hopping away here as best he possibly can. Needs to drop in Q heal. I would say no. Able to blink. Oh man, that was great blinking by Uncle Grimly through all that red team fire. And at this point, the red team is slightly behind in the mid-fight, kind of surprisingly. The carbon team pushing up a little bit ahead at this top lane. Will they be able to move a little bit further up? Not really. I don't really think they have enough healing units to really support that. And now the, car the red team, wow, great formation of those red tanks. But left kind of alone right now. Happy Death now coming back to, uh, to continue supporting with Micro. And, uh, okay, the carbon team still neutralizing this right side over and over with, gar with uh, uh, what are those called? Freaking gangsters. There are too many units that have the same, like, starting letter and air mech. It really is really irritating. Uh, so, Pro, going to be bringing back that uh, Gemini. So, right now, 55 to 55. It's actually even an upkeep. The red team with slightly more units, but I guess, again, these bear traps are down on the field. And uh, the red team just using lighter units with lower amounts of upkeep. Pro trying to deal with these gangsters right here, and they will not get their outpost neutralized because those protective units dropped by Happy Death just now. But the red or the carbon team has been able to take control of the middle outpost. The red team desperately needs a, a neutralization right now, because otherwise they're going to have to pull back and they'll be significantly behind, especially on a map like Duel that is very, very mid-centric. Usually you don't even see the uh, the side neutrals getting uh, you know getting killed. But uh, yeah, the red team being forced back here. Pro getting finished off by Uncle Grimly and Happy Death very low on health as well. Might not even be able to survive this attack. Uncle Grimly has tons of health, tons of energy to heal up. And Happy Death getting bombarded with Uncle, Uncle Grimly's fire. Will Happy Death be able to make it out of this? He is very, very low on health. And both Hawk and Uncle Grimly have him pinned down on the ground over here. Uncle Grimly is about a quarter health, a fifth of his health or so. But uh, Hawk now landing to try to get Happy Death killed. Will Happy Death be finished off? He will be, but will Uncle Grimly and Hawk be able to get out of there? Yes. Wow, that is crazy. In the meantime, they were so distracted by that. Pro 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 bringing a bunch of brutes over here and taking their close. This is one of those intense map splits that you don't really see uh, very often. Well, I mean, if they can, I mean, I I bet you the the the, the carbon team's gonna be taking a close post sometime pretty soon. And uh, the you know the red team's outpost just got neutralized just now by a bunch of uh, carbon team you know unit re fairies back here. 
Happy Death kind of low, but oh man, gonna drop for a little bit of Q heal. Pro needs to bring some creeps back, and that he is coming with. Uh, but will Happy Death be able to hold the line here? Will he be able to hold his ground? No, the Carbon Team taking the outpost back under the control, and I don't think the Red Team's gonna be able to survive or, uh, you know, retake this. Happy Death is kind of low on health. Pro's but really low on health. This might actually be a double kill or a, a team wipe for the Carbon Team right now. Happy Death edging back. Pro gonna be able to blink back. Happy Death staying behind. Oh, and Pro gets finished off by Uncle Grimly in that chase, and oh my god, I was super distracted there the entire time, but Happy Death also getting killed there, so now the Carmen team has a chance uh, to take the lead here with their precious few seconds of complete red team absence, gonna try to neutralize this back right corner while Uncle Grimly works on this forward outpost, will the red team have any chance of stopping this, it gets neutralized, yes, but will the, the, will the Carmen team be able to take it, Happy Death now uh, defending the forward, uh, Uncle Grimly not able to, um, neutralize this uh, forward or was that Hawk don't even remember anymore it doesn't really matter but uh, red team is able to hold here gangsters going off like crazy gonna go to four right now probably gonna kill a whopper or two and pro gonna be able to be uh, death ray that down I was gonna say death beam or something like that but a lot of pressure being applied by the Carbon team right now. Hawk now with four Brutes on all the sides of the outpost. This will get neutralization. It probably won't get an outpost capture. But this is a lot of trouble for the red team who have a max upkeep of 58 currently versus the max upkeep of 80 of the, of the Carbon team that can build up their reserves. And as long as they keep control of where the action is in this match, they will eventually be able to mass up enough units. Uh, what the hell is... Oh, these are Gothic Goliaths. Okay, I was like, those are... They, those, they look neutral to me. That was very confusing. Happy Death, really low on health. Will he be able to get out of here? Pro is here to support. Uncle Grimly actually really low on health. Will he be able to get out of here? No! A Goliath, the neutral Goliath, gets the kill on Uncle Grimly, which is technically better than allowing your uh, opponents to get the kill instead. But now we do have a very strong position for the Carbon team. Pro bringing back that lockbox. But this firing in is going to be very hard for the red team to deal with. How will they manage to, uh, to uh, you know, combat against this? And Pro actually getting focus fired, which is craziness. Happy Death and Pro now reacting to both Uncle Grimly and Hawk. They will probably get the neutralization, but both mechs... Oh, Uncle Grimly! Oh, sorry, no. Hawk gets killed. And Uncle Grimly actually real low. And Pro almost able to get that finish, but trying to focus him. No, gets back to that post. And Pro actually low on health himself, so forced to, uh, to retreat and pull back there. But now we are pretty deep in the late game. Goliath's like crazy out on the field. We might even see some Devastators. Gorgons are going to come out pretty soon, I would think. I think they're level 9 lock, or are they also level 7 or 8? I don't know, but they definitely can make them at this point. Uh, the Carbon Team's at level 10, so uh, yeah. Where are the Gorgons? Where are the Gorgons? You don't see the Gorgons, but we do see Berthus. Carbon Team pulling, uh, leapfrogging up very, very aggressively. A lot of the red Goliaths are getting killed off, and wow, great save by Uncle Grimly on that, um, on that Goliath. But Pro grabbing the other box. So managing to stay in the game. And the Goliath line over here for the re for the red team is very, very strong. Uncle Grimly getting the neutralization over here. But getting pinned down by Pro 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 once again. While Happy Death pushes in to mid with these Goliaths. Which is probably the right move at, at this point. Oh, and the and the new Necros. Oh, actually, he was just moving them in to get a little bit closer. The Necros go down, so the Goliaths are going to be revived. Do they have any real healing units over here? I think there's no. It's just hats on the ground. And there you go. Gorgon now finally out on the field by Pro 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 Pro. Uncle Grimly healing up his Goliaths as much as he possibly can, but that outpost is completely drained. What can Happy Death and Pro 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 do? They just need to play very, very, very tight, clean air mech with extreme attention to micro. And the box getting sold by Uncle Grimly there. Uh, okay, now Pro gonna try a sneak attack with Dillos, but uh, oh no, just gonna do a straight up fort drop. Getting caught by Hawk though, already putting down some whoppers, but so those Dillos are being pretty much forced to be abandoned. Small loss though, so it's 81 to 70. Carbon Team, okay, the nukes are coming out. Where's their silo? It's got to be at the fort. It's got to be at the fort. No. Oh, it's actually at the back corner. So that's actually a very stoppable nuke. Uh, and actually, Carbon Team takes that top right. And, okay, Carbon Team does hear the nuke firing now, but this is actually going to get a decent amount of kills. 
boom, the light units actually were the ones, the lighter units, the tanks and the honeypots, those are the ones that should have been taken back, pulled back, because the nuke cannot kill goliaths, full health goliaths in one hit. Um, Hawk trying to defend against Happy Death here. The Happy Death will easily get this neutralization, but will he be able to convert at all? Is Pro going to come with a couple creeps? Maybe, maybe. Um, I was told that Happy Death and Pro 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 One were on voice chat at the time, and Hawk and Uncle Grimly were not. Um, does make a big difference. I do like to see people on voice chat because the coordination uh, between two people uh, in air mech is, is is definitely a sight to see. That that you know something that you can coordinate. Some things you can't coordinate just by you know just by intuition and chat and uh, uh, text chat. But Pro moving up here, neutralizing and grabbing the middle outpost. Probably will not stay red, will it? No, it actually will. Oh my god. So um, the red team, with that corner attack distraction, Pro 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 was able to take this middle outpost. Might actually be able to finish this goalie. No, Uncle Grimly. Oh my god, Uncle Grimly not able to take it. And uh, we'll go right back up to red, I think. Yes. So the Carbon team definitely needs to station these units over here and hold. Keep those units neutral. But now red team still pushing up even further. Very, very strong moves by the red team. They need to, you know, force the Carbon team out of this spot. And they basically need to do that by, you know, by putting their units in range and uh, having enough in range. But they can't do it. There are way too many Carbon units over here. That is an incredibly tight line of Goliaths. I would expect another nuke to come down for the, uh, for the red team pretty soon. Especially considering their cost is very, very low. Nuke right about here would probably do best since those are the lower softer, lower health softer Goliaths. And Hawk actually overextending a little bit, getting himself killed by the Gorgon on the floor. Uncle Grimly actually also really low on health, so the red team now going to be winning this micro battle. Might even want to consider push, pushing straight in or forward or past. They need to use all of their units, I would say. And how many do they have on the field? Not too many otherwise but the nuke is ready to go i am a little surprised not to see a marker out on the field they do realize the carbon team does realize that the carbon that the red team is moving past so they are going to move past as well the red team is uh positionally a little bit better because they are ahead right now they might be able to get this neutralization right here and right now but that those are a lot of go oh those are a lot of Goli goliaths moving in happy death is getting finished off is actually pretty big in this exchange um, these carbon units are probably going to fort. This doesn't look like it's going to be a base race scenario considering the size of these armies and Pro actually getting finished off as well. So Happy going to be, I would assume, hammering these units to slow their approach. No, not going to do that. Going to drop a couple of defensive Gemini. These should probably be switched to capture. Unless the carbon team thinks they can get the finish right now, which I think they're committing to. Hawk bringing out some uh, some Tesla Towers for distraction and for stasis purposes. But I do not think this is going to be able to get the finish, especially considering Happy Death in the Paladin with the Hammer and Pro as the as the Saucer. It'll get them to about half health, I would think. Pro, the Hawk actually getting finished off, and the Red Team... Okay, the Goliaths are finished off there. And, okay, the Red Team's about half health. They have... Blocking uh, Goliaths and Pro is actually body blocking himself here. So the Carbon units are actually also finished off. So this game is uh, semi-reset. The car Carbon team is at 26 versus the 74 of the Red team. The Red team needs to counter push out as soon as freaking possible. ASAFP. The Carbon team taking back the middle outpost under their control. Will they be able to hold it? The Butchers getting dropped are probably not going to be that threatening. Especially because the Carbon team can just bring more creeps to reoccupy that outpost. Uncle Grimly grabbing the box. And happy that here at the back left corner with a couple of level 4 creeps. Going to get the neutralization pretty quick. But will they be able to take and will they be able to hold uh, so deep into enemy territory? No, no outpost grab right now. But Uncle Grimly gets finished off. Pro going to blink back as quick as freaking possible to get his infantry. And, uh, okay, no, just gonna go on attack. So they are abandoning this outpost capture in favor of uh, recapturing mid at this point. This push was really late. I guess they wanted to wait till those necro those necros did their thing and, and revive those units for, for their control, but <clears throat> might, it might be too late at this point. Uncle Grimly dropping defensive units. Pro and Hawk, or Uncle Grimly and, and Hawk are actually both here, so Pro gonna be forced to abandon that. Oh, man, really don't help. Ah, not able to jump away there. 
but these units approaching are a huge, huge threat to the Carbon team. Will the Red team choose to stop them? Will Happy Death, who is here, choose to stop them, or will he choose to push through? Because I do think that he has the numbers, especially with good uh, mech support, dropping distraction units, and there you go. The Butchers go down, go down a little bit early, uh, as far as, uh, you know, I'm concerned, and it does look like Uncle Grimly gonna be dropping a couple level 4 creeps here, too. Actually, six of them are here. Six creeps, or seven, so that will easily grab that outpost, but will that even matter the carbon team is gonna be forced to pull back here there are way too many red units and the butchers are distracting the goliaths like crazy happy and pro doing great teamwork over here uh will they choose to push through i'm not sure the carbon team really needs to take advantage of this now if they want to stand a chance but it's about to get re-neutralized and there you go Car uh, red team pushing through will they be able to take this post or because their units have been severely thinned out and now they are at a, at a point that the carbon team can reinforce pro going down happy death here to support with his aura but it is the defense aura that he has on right now pulling back a couple of his butchers i don't know if he thinks that he's lost this because he obviously has so yeah he's pulling back whatever he can and that's going to be about it so the carbon team able to hold their re counter pushing this is insanity so uh, yeah, the red team is a little bit light at this point, but the goalies are going to take a little bit of time to get there. So the carbon team, or sorry, the red team really need to start repositioning in defensive position and dropping as many units in a concave position as possible. Uh, <laughs> outpost goes neutral, goes right back up to red, and the, re the carbon team stops right about here. A neutralization and uh, a constant neutralization right now would be great for the, for the carbon team if they could neutralize and keep it neutral. But Pro and Happy are doing crazy amounts of micro, and Pro is barely so I might want to go to his rear post to heal up because his, the mid right now is completely empty. The Carbon Team units are pushing in. This is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. If the Carbon Team cannot hold here, I, I don't see if any possible way for them to survive this game. Uh, there's no almost no other hope for them to make a comeback. So they need to take this and win this battle here and now to be able to uh, stand a chance in this game. And they have lost 20 to 55. So although the, uh, the you know the outpost control isn't severely in favor of the red team, it's only slightly in favor. It, it the unit numbers pretty much tell the tale. Uh, last ditch effort cheese by Uncle Grimly with, uh, oh, there you go, that's where he got that completely, for I always forget about that ability, the, uh, level four, uh, or, sorry, the two level four and two level three creep spawn by the, uh, by the saucer, but, uh, although the neutralization did happen, it's not really gonna make, he's not really gonna be able to make much of it. Hawk coming over here trying to combat against this, but this is at this point I see this being a very much more standard air mech game, and it does look like the red team is is completely uh, disregarding the forward outpost and might go straight to fort at this point. There are, are basically no units defending. The whoppers are just a shield at the very most, and it, I would think that they're going to just try to pump out tanks and and you know fort damage dealing units. Uh, and try to get the finish over here. One last ditch defense attempt by the Carbon team. And it has caused the Red team to redirect their units and uh, forcing. Oh wow, this is so crazy! Going back and forth, the Carbon team now reallocating their units, and that actually did work. So the Carbon team forced to pull their units back over here for defense, and now the Red team's gonna be able to easily plow through a single Goliath. Uh, Hawk really needs to pull that Goliath back to the fort. There you go. So they need to make their last stand at the fort, but all their units are stationed over here. They basically have no defense over here, no defense over here, so they need to survive this attack. I would have thought that Heavy Mines should have came out, but maybe they agreed no Heavy Mines this game. I'm not exactly sure what could possibly have been the, uh, you know, the arrangement. But at this point, Uncle Grimly and Hawk, okay, losing their close completely surrounded and the red team will easily be able to hold here i guess that was probably the better decision because the carbon team had a great deal of fort health left so although this would have gotten at the very least close to the finish it was possible that they would not have achieved the finish there uh made a little bit in danger but that's not really much of a concern for the red team at this point uh they just need to mass up a little bit more and go 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 uh what can the carbon team do it right now well they can hold and they can just continue they can be they can, okay, 
for the most part, if you're behind in an air mech game, you need to try to take control of where the action happens. And if the carbon team can start harassing like crazy, start to force the red team to respond to their side of the map, uh, then maybe one of the other players on the red or on the carbon team could start to fight back and retake some outposts here and there. But at this point, this looks like it's going to be the finishing blow to the red team. Happy Death and Pro 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 have tons of units coming in, lots of goalies, lots of gangsters, and a couple of gorgons to boot. And very little defense for the for the uh, for the carbon team. I I'm still a little bit surprised not to see more nukes aside from that single one dropped by Pro 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 on either side. Uh, but yeah, the, the defense is getting very light over here for the for the carbon team, and there is nothing blocking the fort at this point. Damage being dealt, and the killing blow is going to land. Pro 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 and Happy Death for the win, taking the win over Uncle Grimly and Hawk 485. Great epic match by both sides. Pushes like crazy. Uh, outpost control switching like crazy. And that is definitely the kind of game that I like to see. I'm going to lower the volume on this because that's a lot of firing and it's not stopping for some strange reason. Okay. <laughs> but wow. This game was sent in by both sides, by both teams. Players on both sides sent them in, so this was a definite obvious um, cast for me to choose. Um, uh, big thanks to all four players for their performances in this game. There were definitely epic, epic moments for both sides. Um, guys, you shouldn't be afraid to, to make moves, shouldn't be afraid to push. Be risky. It's the only way that you're going to be able to improve your strategy and your tactics. Um, you're, it's the only way that you're going to be able to recognize when something could be beneficial. It's those borderline situations that make or break certain games and that make this game extremely exciting. So uh, keep playing. Keep, you know, don't just, don't just play it safe every time. Make those hard decisions. Uh, try to go with those strong moves every time and I guarantee you you're going to be a lot more satisfied with your play if you do that. Uh, send in your replays to me, check out the video description for that submission link, set up your replay folders, install Nullcool's ARM Air Mech Replay Manager, keep on playing, keep on submitting, and uh, just keep engaging, join the Discord, uh, we will see a patch, I I'm, I'm predicting soon-ish. Uh, there, it's been about three and a half months without a patch, but I, I think things are going to be changing pretty soon. We just had a live balance patch uh, by, I mean, I think it was two days ago or yesterday, um, whenever I record this, recorded this thing. So changes can be made. You just need to let it be known that you think there's certain problems. Maybe you don't have the perfect solution, but there are people for that to, to you know, to to help figure that out. Um, yeah, keep sending your games in, guys. I really appreciate all that you guys do, all the viewers, everyone watching, everyone leaving comments. Uh, this game has been uh, going for six years, strong or not strong, um, and all the support from everyone, not just by watching my videos, but by continuing to play, attempting to uh, cast, try and get your feet wet, streamers, uh, you know, people helping new players, all of that really does contribute to the community, so keep it on going, uh, and if you're new, uh, just reach out, there are so many people that are willing to help. Yeah, once again, epic game, epic, epic game. This is RUI, and that was the epic game of the month. See you next time.